If it's not too late. <laughs> People singing behind the scene. I'm Kiara and welcome to another episode of Ebook Cooks. Um, there are two reasons why I'm here today. One is it's because we're whipping up, wink wink, something really easy. And two, Sufon isn't here, he's stuck in a hotel room. Today we're gonna address this viral trend that's going on. It's called the Dalgona coffee. I'm sure you've seen it. It's just a one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one ratio of instant coffee granules, sugar and hot water. And then you just whisk it up and poof, it becomes a frothy delicious latte. So let's talk about the origins of this Dalgona coffee. It just came from this Korean home cafe thing, which is also a trend by the way, where this lady whipped up instant coffee and sugar and made the latte. And then it got caught on by this Korean TV show, which later blew it up like 10,000 times more. But according to Maverick, there's a, another story. So I read this article a few weeks ago when I was researching on this coffee. In 2016, there was this article posted about this Indian coffee that had almost the exact same recipe except for they added masala. La. Maybe it was an adapted recipe. So today, we're actually going to do more Dalgona-inspired drinks. I mean, we're eat book. We can't just do the coffee and that's it. You know, we need to turn it up. Let's first do the OG, okay? So we have instant coffee granules, sugar. I'm going to put that in right <laughs> <laughs> I want to say coconut somehow. <laughs> Instant coffee granules, sugar, hot water, a metal bowl, and our hand whisk. Okay, very simple. They just dump all three ingredients into the mixing bowl and whip up. It's frothing up a little bit. Okay, and we are done. Look, check out the foam. Check out the cream. Check out the froth. I don't even know what to call this thing. There's actually a bit of science behind this. So I read on Reddit that these instant coffee granules, it has some sort of stabilizer in them. So when you add hot water and sugar and you stir it crazily, it produces this really hardy foam. Let's make some IG worthy content. <laughs> Try this out. Oh my gosh, look, even after mixing, right, the froth is still there. Because the topping is so concentrated, it gets really bitter, but then it gets mellowed down so much more when you hit the milk. So it's like, wow, it's really very short. Yeah, but this is not the end of the video. So we're gonna do two variations that we love. One is bandong and one is speculos. Okay, the first of our Dalgona inspired drink would be bandong. Uh, I don't know about you guys. But when I go to a Prata place, I only order either Horlicks or Bandong. Plus, it's very IG worthy. <laughs> the ingredients for this recipe is even simpler than the Dalgona coffee itself. It only involves two ingredients. One is whipping cream and the other one is rose syrup. The reason why we're using a hand mixer now is because if you use a whisk, right, you might faint from exhaustion. <laughs> Be careful not to over whip the cream because we still have the rose syrup to add in and then we have to whip it one more time. Oh my god! And we're done! Should we do some IG worthy Korean home cafe kind of B-rolls? Let's go! So here's the drink, isn't it beautiful? I know there's someone in the office who loves bandong as much as I do, and it's <laughs> oh my god, it's bandung! Yes! I'm so happy! So do I just stir it in? Yeah, stir it in or you want to drink it like on top then below also can. On top? Oh like that like Like if I drink like a te chino ice. Ah, ah that kind yeah, of yeah. like, like that. In all honesty, skip the milk man. I'm just gonna give give me <laughs> an entire bowl of that. You can eat it like ice cream right? It's really like a dessert eh. Now I really love bandung. A lot of people judge me for liking bandung. <gasps> Because like some people really just don't think it's very nice because it's got a very floral taste mm. and it's not for everyone. But I really love bandung and this to me is like a perfect <laughs> dessert topper. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you're speaking in like portions now because you keep licking from your, it from your straw. It is. It's a great dessert topper, you know? Okay, this is very good. I really love it. Hey, Kiara, 10 million thumbs up for you, man. Yay! Do, 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 do. You must put the whole screen, okay? Looks like the Dalgona inspired bandung drink was a success. So, we're gonna try the second flavor now, which is Speculose. Sounds good already, right? So, it involves two ingredients and it's the same thing whipping cream and then peculose instead of rose syrup. And we're also gonna still use the hand mixer because whipping cream, hand mixer, they are friends. So same as before, stop when you get a consistency that is stiff but it's still a little bit runny. Like you, when you lift up right, you don't get much on your whisk. And now what you need to do is put 2.5 tablespoons of speculose into the cream. Fold the mixture a little bit more. Woo! It's so light and fluffy. Oh my gosh. And it smells so good. It smells like Christmas morning. Oh my gosh. Actually, it doesn't even smell like this at my home. It's just what I imagine Christmas to smell like overseas. <laughs> Yes, come on in. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Wow, new cafe here, Sia. Yeah. Quite aesthetic, some more. Have you heard of Dalgona coffee? Yes. Who has not heard of Dalgona coffee, I tell you? All over IG, so irritating. The only thing I see now. <laughs> oh, shit, influencers doing TikTok at home. Baby, baby, jam me up, sir. <laughs> and Dalgona. <laughs> Dalgona coffee. <laughs> Yesterday, I just posted on my eyes. <laughs> so, we did um, a speculous version of the Dalgona drink. Here's a straw. Oh, wow. The straw. <laughs> we do have small straw. Oh! I'm just putting the whole thing in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Careful, I got eyes. Mmm. Uh. Mm. Wow, alcohol. It actually, I think it might work. Eh. Mm. You put Baileys or something. Yeah, put Baileys, even nicer. You can put this on pancakes. You can put this on top of ice cream to give it a different texture. Mm. Mm. Put this on yourself. Okay, so now we need, <laughs> we need that B-roll. So can you help us put it on yourself? <laughs> One of the questions that popped up is, what if I'm lactose intolerant? Well, I'm lactose intolerant and I don't care. <laughs> for those people who care and for those people who are really lactose intolerant, you can easily replace your heavy whipping cream with egg whites. But I recommend using fresh, fresh eggs because you're not cooking the eggs, you know, you're just whipping it up like how you would with a meringue. The only difference between egg whites and whipping cream is that you don't get that rich, silky, creamy flavour and texture. It's more of that bubbly, foamy texture from egg whites. Up to you, really. I mean, you're at home. The toilet's at home. Just saying. <laughs> Okay, to prove to you that this whipped cream method can be used on any other flavourings, here are four more variations that we have tried. For me personally, I prefer the speculose flavour. What about y'all? What are your favourites? Speculose. Speculose? Maverick? Speculose. Speculose also? Oh my gosh. So I guess the first thing you should try is the speculose flavour. I feel like this Dalgona coffee or for non-coffee drinkers, the rest of these drinks is a great activity the whole family can do, especially in this situation where you know you want to avoid going out and you want to stay at home. If you're bored, just whip these up. Whip. Pun intended. <laughs> As usual, if you have tried any of our Eat Book Cooks recipes, please take an IG story and send it to us at EatBookSG. We love, love, love watching your videos. I mean, it makes us want to create more content even in this situation. Thank you for watching this episode of Ebook Cooks. If you love videos like this, you can catch more over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye!